featuring North America's favorite hunting couple. This is the Archer's Choice. Welcome to the Archer's Choice. This week we're going back up to Mirage. Cruising for Caribou. Caribou. Yep, up in Quebec. Yep. We've been up there a couple times now. And you know, we've, and we've been very fortunate. We hunt the rut hunt, right, which now, is a little more pricey. October, but it's, it's, And you're also, you also got to take an effect when you go back that late is that you got to worry about weather because weather right. conditions. But the other thing you need to worry about, which you're going to see in the first part of the show, is Jake Beam and Jody Davis, who are posse guys, they went up in September, I believe it was. They went up early, yep, they and went on an early the hunt. the weather problem they had. The problem was is that Jake's equipment never made it from Arkansas to Quebec. Their wonder, never made it to camp. I wonder if his wife packed it. Yeah, nice try. Nice try. You know, normally when you women touch everything, it's like... Gosh, yeah, I well, anyways, that. the good no. thing is J.D. said, hey, Jake, you know what I'm don't worry about it. Go ahead and try shooting my bow. So they made the best out of a bad situation. Murphy's Law, they turned it around. That's right, a positive into a negative, a negative into a positive. Turn a I guess. negative into a positive. I, I, I know, it's from living you. with you, my mind has been gone. Let's go check so out Jake's what law. do you say? You turn a negative into a positive living with me? No, a positive into a negative. This is uh, J.D.'s bow and uh, J.D.'s release and... Uh, Jenny's arrows and his rangefinder. All mine's still in Toronto and we're in Caribou Camp, but I think I can shoot it, so we're gonna try it right here. What bad? Get pretty close to where I was aiming. Three bulls right up on top of this hill. I don't know. About 200 yards from us. We got the winds right. They're bedded, so we're gonna try and get close to them. See what we can do. But it's gonna be enjoyable. Outfitters, can't thank him enough. It's the the fourth or fifth of September, early season hunt. It's worked, but man, it, the big ones are here. I mean, the big ones are here. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now you saw how Jake used Jody's equipment. Now let's see if Jody can use his own equipment and get himself a boo. Back in the caribou. One big bull up here bedded, and we know there's another bull with him, but we know there's another six, seven, eight, ten bulls out there too, so we got the wind right now, and uh, we're just going to try to ease up here and get to them and see what happens. Now the 
one ball bedded down can see us up here. Or behind a tree, he can't see us, but he can see around us. So I don't think we're going to be able to get any closer unless we go back. Jake, that awaited, buddy. You know, to think that you lost your bow, you went up and got a caribou, JD let you use his bow, but he didn't get one. What's wrong with this picture? Oh man, we ran them once again. We had caribou coming off the far ridge and they're coming crosswind and half of them we got right on this point. We figure if they go off either side, well, half of them go off this side, half of them go off this side. 68 yards as close as we could get them and you know, we're trying to hide behind a rock too, so.
Congratulations. Yeah, we went ahead and got her done. Hey, when the when the get them when the getting's good and the you getting was as good believe. as it was gonna get. Well, I appreciate you guys letting us know that my bowl came down over here. Hey, uh, <laughs> he said, there's a nice one. There's a nice one. He's getting ready. He's, he's, like, got, oh, he's got a spot on him. All of a sudden, he said. <laughs> so we saw him fall. Well, I appreciate that. Awesome. That is my bull right over there, or is that it's, one yours? The bull? Yeah. That and yours there. Oh, good. Right here. <laughs> yeah, he's nice. And then, the, and then mine's on over the next ridge. This is, this is like, um, it's kind of insane. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Can you believe it? Michael, do you feel my pain? Here it is. Now she does it to you. Michael and Mark are ready. Mark's behind the camera. Mike's ready to shoot. They're watching this really good bull come down the trail. All of a sudden, boop, it drops. Michael, do you feel my pain? Wow. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Oh, I think I love you. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yeah. Double shovel. Yeah. <laughs> double shovel. Look at him. Big nice bez. Big nice bez. Double shovels. I'm telling you, he's got everything you'd want on a bull, huh? Well, I guess it's time to let Ralph hunt, and at least I think I gave him a good thing to try beating. <laughs> Look where the exit is. Right here. What a day. I mean, every time nice bull we, could, we couldn't catch a break. No, nope. every time nice bull would come along, wind seems to swirl again around and they just wouldn't approach. And just tear us apart. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, you saw how we all did already with our caribou when it's the last morning and who doesn't have a second bull? Ralph, doesn't it figure? Everyone's at camp waiting to fly back to camp, to the main lodge, and we have to go out and get Ralph his second bull. Check this one out. Huh? No, if they come there, I could take them right there, but that's it. I'll, all my shooting.
get ready, because I think we might have to watch Ralph go take a swim. What can I tell you? Here at Mirage, I mean, you can't ask for any being covered up anymore for, for caribou, we huh? Had, we had perfect setup there now. I mean, you, you put, you called that shot right, man. I mean, it was just everything. They were all right there. It's the last day. We have about, what, a half hour? Somewhere like it, just about, well, it's 9.30 now. We've had call it over We had a call 10. hunting at 10, so yeah. we're okay. We just need the current to pick up a little bit, so it drifts. I shot my caribou, he was quartering, I, and I, I mean, we, we got him good, but we are hunting very, very close to this lake. He came down and he tried to cross, and well, there he is. And the plan? The plan is, the if the wind holds up, if the wind doesn't, you're gonna see me and my skivvies, skivvies jumping in and getting him out here, getting him over here. You gonna pull a Michael? I'll pull a, a, a Michael. Michael special? Yeah, a swim in Quebec in mid-October. In northern Quebec. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I got a nice caribou. <laughs> Thank you, brother. It deserves one. <laughs> Thank you. Honey, I was so helping that you were gonna have to go and get that caribou out of the water. I was really hoping you were gonna have to go swimming just because the footage would have been awesome. You know, like I've always said, turn a negative into a positive. Right. The negative was the bull ran out to the water. The positive was the big guy upstairs went and blew him right back into me. So then let's think about this negative and positive. The negative was you were the last one to shoot a bull that on that trip, and the positive was, even though you were the last one to shoot a bull, mine still beat you. No, no, yes, that ain't did. right. Because it, let's it turn a negative, negative into a positive. The negative is that you you assume that you shot bigger animals, like I did always. Shoot, I did shoot a bigger animal. The caribou, both of my caribou were bigger than yours. Both. It, I think it was the camera angle, no, the lighting. Did, it, I think did, it was did, because did. yeah. I, no, trust me, trust me. But it was a good try. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. Because I we didn't. Want you to, <laughs> we want you to tune in the same time next week. Same time. You screwed that one up. I same know. channel. Right here. On, on the, the Archer's Choice. Choice.